Today I'm going to show you how to remove a wing off of a bird. So I'm just going to warn you beforehand, like a lot of my videos, this might be not so fun for people who are a little squeamish or people who are real animal lovers who might have a hard time seeing animals in their natural deceased state. Although this is a little bit beyond just a natural deceased state. This is kind of mutilated. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to remove the wing to use for making smudge fans and feather sticks. This is our beautiful little bird. She was hit yesterday afternoon and picked up this morning. This is a yearling gull. I'm not sure exactly what kind of gull, but from the wingspan, it was a very large one. Now, there is no head on this animal because there was a lot of scavenger action, but you can tell that it is a seagull by those little webbed feet. Also from the coloration, the size, whatnot. So we're not dealing with a bird of prey. There are some hawks that do have some mottled feathers similar to this, but this is definitely a seagull. So to dislocate a wing, you want to look for the joint. Right there. And you want to pull it in the opposite direction and kind of rotate it. So you could hear that snap there, we know that it is broken. You want to find your break, which is about here. Go through and pull away from you, like this. is a lot easier on smaller birds, trust me. <laughs> there we go. So here's one section here. We have tougher skin than it looks. So here's one piece here that you could use to make a very large smudge fan. You can also use the smaller edges here, but I'm not going to use this part, I don't think. But I am going to want to salvage the feathers. So this one here, she's already dislocated down here. I think I have to sharpen my neck. But all these feathers here can be salvaged. So again, this part, this part of the wing's already broken, and sometimes you can work with the previous breaks. So just go down underneath, find the break point, and pull out. And that is detached. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so what I'm gonna do. So I'm going to take these in the house. I'm going to run a really nice hot bath to get any dried blood, any little feather mites, or any other bacteria that might be on these off before we open them up and scrape all the flesh. 